Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about operations on matrices. First of all, we will learn addition of matrices. The sum of two matrices is a matrix obtained by adding the corresponding elements of the two matrices. Also, the two matrices should be of same order. For example, suppose we are given two matrices A and B and we need to find their sum that is A plus B. So first of all, let us check their order. Now, the order of matrix A is 2 by 3 and the order of matrix B is also 2 by 3. So, that means we can add them. Now, A plus B will be equal to 2 plus 0, that is 2. Then, 6 plus minus 9, that is minus 3. 5 plus 2, 7. Minus 3 plus 11, that is 8. Then 8 plus 1, 9. And lastly, 1 plus 4, that is 5. So this is the required matrix. Now our next topic is multiplication of a matrix by a scalar. Suppose we are given a matrix A given by Aij of order M by N and we want to multiply the given matrix A by a scalar K. Then we will multiply the scalar K with each element Aij of the matrix A and we will get a new matrix of order M by N. Let's take one example for this. Here, we are given a matrix A and the scalar K equal to 2. And we need to multiply K with the matrix A. So, K into A will be equal to 2 into 2, that is 4. Then, 2 into 6, 12. Then, 10, minus 6, 16 and 2. So, this is equal to 2 into the matrix A. Now, let's see what is negative of a matrix. Suppose we are given a matrix A, then the negative of matrix A will be minus A. And minus A is minus 1 into the matrix A. That is, we will multiply minus 1 with each element of the matrix A. For example, suppose we are given matrix A. Then negative of A, that is minus A, will be equal to minus 1 into the matrix A, that is 2, 5, minus 3, 0. So, we will multiply minus 1 with each element of matrix A and this will be minus 2, minus 5, 3, 0. Now comes difference
of matrices. If A given by Aij and B given by Bij are the two matrices of same order, say M by N, then the difference of the two matrices A minus B will be given by a third matrix D, which is given by Dij such that Dij will be equal to Aij minus Bij for all I and J. Also, the order of matrix D will be M by N. For example, here we are given two matrices A and B of order 3 by 2 and we need to find the difference of A and B. So, A minus V will be equal to a matrix D which will be 2 minus 1 then 6 minus 4, minus 5 minus 2, 3 minus 5, 0 minus 7 and 9 minus 13 which is equal to 1, 2, minus 7, minus 2, minus 7 and minus 4 and this will also be of order 3 by 2. Now let's see properties of matrix addition. The addition of matrices satisfy the following properties. First property is commutative law. If A given by Aij and B given by Bij are the two matrices of same order, say of order M by N, then A plus B will be equal to B plus A. Let's take an example for this. Suppose we are given two matrices A and B of same order and we want to show that A plus B is equal to B plus A. So first of all let us find A plus B. This will be equal to 8, 0, 4, minus 2 plus 2, minus 2, 4, 2 which will be equal to 10, minus 2, 8, 0. Now, B plus A will be equal to 2, minus 2, 4, 2, plus 8, 0, 4, minus 2. And this will also be equal to 10, minus 2, 8, 0. From here, we can conclude that A plus B is equal to B plus A. So, we can say that the addition of matrices is commutative. Similarly, addition of matrices satisfies associative law. Which states for any three matrices, a given by Aij, B given by Bij and C given by Cij of the same order, say of order M by N. A 
प्लस बी प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी दैट मीन्स एडिशन ऑफ मेट्रिसिस इज एसोसिएटिव नाउ थर्ड इज एक्जिस्टेंस ऑफ एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी Suppose A is a matrix given by A I J of order m by n, and O is a zero matrix of order m by n. Then A plus O will be equal to O plus A. Which is equal to A itself. In other words, O is the additive identity for matrix addition. Now the fourth one is existence of Additive inverse. Suppose A is any matrix given by A I J of order m by n. Then we have another matrix. Minus a given by minus a i j of order m by n such that a plus minus a is equal to minus a plus a which is equal to o which is a null matrix of order m by n then minus a is the additive inverse of matrix a or we can also call it as negative of matrix a now our next topic is properties of scalar multiplication of a matrix suppose a given by a i j and b given by b i j are the two matrices of same order Say of m by n and k and l are the two scalars. Then first we have k into a plus b will be equal to k into matrix A plus k into matrix B. And second, we have k plus l into matrix A is equal to k into matrix A plus l into matrix A. So these two properties hold good for any matrix. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have enjoyed it. Goodbye. Take care and keep smiling.